Hi everybody, this is Gad Sad for The Sad Truth. I received several emails from folks asking to know a bit more about my uh, personal history in terms of my religious uh, heritage and how uh, I eventually developed a lack of uh, religious belief. Uh, so I thought that rather than uh, try to answer that by looking at the camera and uh, describing my journey, uh, I would uh, read from a personal statement that I uh, wrote for a fantastic uh, book called The Better Life by Chris Johnson, where he culled the personal statements of a uh, hundred individuals, uh, each of whom can uh, go through life and uh, find purpose and meaning and joy without necessarily having a belief in a personal God. And some of the individuals uh, who participated in the book include uh, very, very notable uh, people, such as uh, Richard Dawkins and Steven Pinker and Daniel Dennett, and so I'm truly humbled uh, to be amongst uh, such an illustrious group. Without further ado, I'll uh, read my personal statement, uh, which will take about three minutes, and then uh, I'll wrap it up. Thanks. Here we go. I am a Lebanese Jew by heritage and an atheist by conviction. Growing up in the Middle East, I quickly learned that daily life was experienced via the prism of one's religion. Yet from my earliest memories of attending the Magen Abraham Synagogue in Beirut, I felt detached from the requisite rituals that shape communal living in the tribal societies of Lebanon. My inborn disdain for religion was further exacerbated by our having to escape the Lebanese civil war under the imminent threat of execution, which led to our family's emigration to Canada. On one of their return trips to Lebanon, my parents were kidnapped by Fatah to eventually be rescued after several deeply harrowing days of captivity. A constant reminder of the deep hatred that religion engenders toward outgroup members thus shaped my childhood. It is an affront to human dignity to suggest that purpose and meaning in one's life can only be garnered via the belief in a deity. To lead a rich and righteous life is more laudable when pursued void of the, quote, guiding edicts of a dictatorial higher power. My life is fulfilling in endless earthly ways, be it via my intellectual and scientific pursuits, my university teaching, the love that I share with my family members, beloved canine companions and close friends, traveling to new lands to immerse myself in new cultures and awe-inspiring landscapes, nourishing my being with knowledge, music, art, and films, and innumerable other daily quests, each of which reminds me of the magic of life. Carpe diem, seize the day, is best instantiated when one recognizes the ephemeral and finite nature of our existence. There are no supernatural do-overs or eternal afterlives. My lack of religiosity makes it easier for me to appreciate the importance of every second, every minute, and every hour. You get one shot to experience life fully and hopefully make a difference. To assuage the existential angst inherent to our ever-looming mortality, I say, fear not, immortality can be achieved, but not via a religious-based afterlife. As a loving father to my children, I am effectively propagating my genes, while as an author and a professor, I am disseminating my memes onto future generations. To recognize the evolutionary roots of our lifelong pursuits does not render them any less awe-inspiring. Instead, science and reason liberates us from the shackles of superstition by offering us a framework for understanding our shared humanity. Ultimately, we all have the capacity to treasure life and enrich the world in incalculable ways, none of which require adherence to religious dogma. Having experienced the horrors of religious-based societies, I wake up every day thankful that I live in a liberal democracy where the nefarious and intrusive forces of religion have been neutralized. I fear, though, that a growing dark cloud of totalitarian religious intolerance is descending on our free Western societies. There is perhaps no greater meaning and purpose in life than to combat such retrograde evil. So there is my personal statement. Yes, one can have purpose and meaning without being religious. Uh, I hope that uh, 
It was an interesting personal statement. Thank you to those who've asked that question. It's certainly a personal topic, but one that I'm happy to share. Uh, look forward to catching you in a future episode. Have a good weekend, everybody. Ciao.